In this video, we're going to keep working with some examples of trigonometric functions. And in example two here, we're asked to find the requested function value of theta using the correct number of significant digits. So we're given that the sine of theta is equal to 0 0.3571. We're asked to find secant theta. Well, that's a two-step process. First, we're going to have to find theta and then evaluate what the secant of that particular angle will be. The first thing you're going to do here is determine do you want to work in radians or do you want to work in degrees. So I'm going to say degrees because most people feel comfortable there. So I'm going to set our calculator and make sure it is in degree mode. So our calculator here is. So we'll go back to the main screen. So now we know we're working in degrees. So given the sign of an angle is this, we can find the angle by taking the inverse sign of the ratio we are given. Three 0.3571. An inverse sine is second function or shift sine on most calculators. So if we go over here, second function sine inverse 0.3571 and hit enter, we find that we get 20.92 degrees rounded to four digits since our ratio is given in four digits. Now we need to find the secant of theta, and we just found theta is 20.92 degrees, so secant of 20.92. Well, we know secant is 1 over cosine, so this is 1 over the cosine of 20.92. And we can do that all in one step on the calculator. 1 divided by the cosine of 20.92. Enter. And we find our answer then is 1.071, again, rounded to four significant digits. And so that's what that question was looking for. We'll continue and do the next two now. So given the cosine of an angle is this, so to find the angle first, we take the inverse of the ratio, and that's second function cosine 0.8571 close bracket that gives us 31.01 degrees so there's our angle now the tangent of that angle 31.01 degrees is equal to the tan of 31.01 which gives us 0 0.6011 rounded again to four significant digits. The final example we have cosecant theta and we can't simply say theta then is the cosecant inverse because as you can see our calculator doesn't have that button. It only has sine inverse, cosine inverse, or tan inverse. So to do cosecant we have to remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if we take the reciprocal of both sides the reciprocal of cosecant is sine theta, and the reciprocal of 1.077 is 1 over 1.077. Now we can do it just like we did the first one. So to find theta then, it's going to be the sine inverse of 1 over 1.077. That tells us that theta then is going to be second function sine so sine inverse of 1 divided by 1.077 and that gives us 68.02 degrees 68.02 degrees, don't forget to put degrees and the cotan of theta then well that has to be 1 over the tan of theta and theta is 68.02 degrees, so 1 divided by the tan of 68.02 is equal to 0 0.4036 rounded to four decimal places, or to four significant digits. And so that's example two. We'll continue with example three, and we'll do the first couple, and then I'll just write the answers for the rest so you have them. In example three, we're asked to find the indicated trig function 
If theta is an angle in standard position, so starting from the positive x-axis, remember, with the terminal side defined by the given point. So the first thing to do for each of these is draw a sketch. So we have to sketch this. The point 3, 4 would be up here. And if this is the angle it defines then, is this one here, this is theta. Then if we put a perpendicular here to get a right angle, we know that over here is four units because this tells us y. And on the bottom here we have three because this is x. And then we can find the radius or the hypotenuse here. So we can call it r. The hypotenuse then is going to be four squared plus three squared is equal to r squared. And if you solve that, you find r is equal to five. So we have r equal to five. The sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And that tells us then that opposite theta is four, the hypotenuse is five, so we get four over five. We'll do one more of these with an explanation let's say D, and then I'll just fill in the other answers. In D, we have the point 8, 3, so we can start by drawing a sketch. 8x, 3y, so that's over here. So there's our angle. We draw a right angle. This is 3, and this is 8. And we want the tan of that angle. Well, tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, and if you look at theta here, opposite is 3, so that's 3 over, adjacent is 8, so the answer for that one is 3 over 8. I strongly suggest you to work out the other three, pause the video at this time, come back, check that you got the right solutions. So for now, I'm just going to fill in the solutions to tell you that for B, the answer should be cosine of theta is equal to 3 over 5. The cosecant of theta, for this example, is 5 over 4. Back to example B for a second. You should also have found in this example, the hypotenuse was equal to 10. That would have been your first step. For this example, the hypotenuse was equal to 25. And for example E, we don't need to find the hypotenuse because it's cotan, and we find that the answer is cotan of theta should be 9 over 6, which reduces to 3 over 2. And so there's the three other answers. Make sure you can draw the correct diagram. Make sure you can find those answers. If not, make sure you get help with those three questions in particular. We'll stop that lesson there. And the next lesson will answer the following page of questions, which is basically inputting data on our calculator to make sure we're comfortable doing that. If you have any questions, get help as soon as you can, and we'll see you in the next lesson.